has compared lawmakers to lazy school children who put off doing their homework. He's convinced senators to cancel their summer vacation, and he has even hosted a golf outing, all in trying to broker an agreement to raise the nation's debt ceiling. Now, President Obama is inviting congressional leaders to the White House Thursday to work on a deal. So far, though, talks have not yielded much progress. Republicans say they will oppose any plan to raise the debt limit that includes tax hikes. The president and Democrats are in favor of spending cuts and tax increases. I believe we need a balanced approach. We need to take on spending in domestic programs, in defense programs, in entitlement programs, and we need to take on spending in the tax code, spending on certain tax breaks and deductions for the wealthiest of Americans. This will require both parties to get out of our comfort zones. We've made progress, and I believe that greater progress is within sight, uh, but I don't want to fool anybody. Uh, we still have to work through some real differences. The president said he would like to see Congress reach a deal in two weeks' time. And for more, we are joined from Washington by Politico's deputy congressional editor, Laura McGahn. Thanks for being with us, Laura. Hi. All right, Good so do you, think, well, do you think that we'll see some real progress come out of these talks on Thursday? Well, I think that the president's speech today was sort of um, a, a, an opener for the week. Um, and we know that this weekend, uh, President Obama actually spoke one-on-one -on -one with John Boehner, and he spoke with Harry Reid. And we know that top Senate and House aides are actually uh, back negotiating behind the scenes. So as uh, as promising as, of a sign as it is that we know that there are going to be these, these talks at the White House, um, it's even sort of better news that we know that talks are happening behind the scenes. No doubt, but the president said that he does believe lawmakers can find common ground. Seems though, like most Republicans, are not willing to move off of their stance of no tax increases. Right. I mean, they've drawn they have drawn a hard line on that, and so if, if your goal is to um, achieve a grand deal, and if you've drawn a really hard line, it makes it difficult to negotiate. So uh, that that's really what has held up um, negotiations, at least in the public, the public rhetoric about around them that we've seen so far. Well, over the weekend, two Republican senators, John McCain and John Cordon, raised the possibility of what they called revenue raisers. And they weren't very specific about it, but it seemed as though they were talking about closing tax loopholes and cutting subsidies. What can you tell us about that? Right. I mean, I think that that gives sort of Republicans maneuvering room um, to negotiate without having to go back on their word. And so they can say things like, you know, we'll take a look at, um, you know, subsidies for corporations or we'll look at certain write offs that uh, wealthier Americans get to take. And that kind of creates a squishier zone for Republicans to negotiate. And it gives it's an opening for Democrats too to negotiate there. A lot of people said President Obama needed to get involved in these negotiations. In fact, he did. And last week, he actually scolded Congress, especially Republicans. So how well is he handling this situation? Well, I mean, I, th I think we all saw that uh, Republicans do not like to be compared to pre-adolescent girls. They don't like it. Um, but. But since then, um, there ha like I said, there has been back-channel negotiations, um, which is exactly what happened this spring. Uh, there was a, a lot of outward um, sort of hostile rhetoric around the, the budget deal that was reached this spring. Um, and behind the scenes, aides were talking and hashing out a deal. And there are indications that that's happening again. So um, it'll be interesting to see you know, if we see a deal emerge in the next couple weeks coming out of um, real talks that are happening rather than kind of what we're hearing on, so on TV. So very quickly, bottom line, you think there will be a deal? Um, I, every side has said they want a deal and they want to raise the debt ceiling and it's a matter of negotiating the terms of that deal. So I think when, when all sides are agreeing on, on the outcome, that that's a good sign. But, you know, if, are we going to see a grand package in two weeks? I don't know. I mean, or a short-term deal? Obama says he doesn't want that. He wants a big deal. But w the details are, are, are yet to be seen. No doubt. And we'll be watching. All right. Laura McGann from Politico. Thanks for being with us. You're welcome.